Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial number 23 and I'm going to do a little more advanced uh, <coughs> effects with the Halo which we're going, we did fire kind of and we're going to do a little bit more of smoke this time but we're also going to do a curve guide with smoke so as before go ahead and make a plane I'm just going to delete the vertices on this cube and subdivide Hit the hash key. Okay. I'm going to draw all this up here a little bit. <clears throat> so this will be our emitter as before. Bring it up. And go to the particles again. Hit new. I'm going to bring the amount up to 5,000. And uh, go to the random and normal. All right. Oh. So we have our amount 5,000. We don't have static selected, and we have normal 50 and random 50. Hit L A. This time it's going the wrong direction. All right. To fix this, go to the edit mode. Go to your edit buttons, and where it says draw normals in mesh tool, which you have to drag over draw normals you'll see that there are blue lines going downward we need to flip them so hit select everything and flip normals under the W specials menu so flip them up now they'll travel upwards oh. okay back to object mode and now they emit upwards I want to scale this down so it's a little bit of a finer point. Alright, so that's the settings as we had before. Uh, what we can do with this, I'm going to snap this cursor to the middle of this. Uh, Shift S and cursor to selection. Add. Alright, so now we're going to have the curve guide. Add uh, surface. No, we want to add a bizarre curve. Okay. And if we notice, we cannot pull it up or down. We need to hit the 3D uh, button for this. So, hit the 3D. Draw this one up here. Bring this one down. And with the bizarre curve, when you hit 3D, you'll get these arrows. This is the way that uh, whatever you have is going to be following it. Either it be particles or motion or some sort of element. I'm just going to rotate this up. G and our particles are going to follow this curve. You can extrude this and just hit R, rotate. I'm trying to make it a little wacky so you can see that the particles follow it. For the particles to follow along this line, we need to select it in object mode and go to the uh, object tab. And once you get there, uh, you'll be in particle. You'll be go to the particles motion and where it says fields of deflection fields and deflection uh, go ahead and hit curve guide All right, now you have curve guide selected this has become a curve guide for your particles alright so keep continue selecting that we're going to hit the use max distance and just scale this up and also we need to hit the uh, minimum distance a little bit so now if you watch our particles will follow that line. Okay. It doesn't uh follow in a direct line, it's a little random. And but they still continue up this line and then are flung in a direction. I need to set the uh time frame up for that. Set that to thousand or something. Alright. Hit seed. And to make it look like smoke, with our particle emitter selected, to make it look like smoke, give it a gray color and give it halo. And once before, just hit shaders, bring halo size to one. Oh. And we're going to set the hard down, add just a little bit to it. I'm going to put it about hard 22. And make sure you hit uh, X alpha, shaded, and halo texture. Those three. 
the next tutorial I'll probably be messing with halos again or I'll be discussing these other ones um, so go to your textures button and hit clouds once again and bring it up to about I'll say about one or so noise up to six and the color blank color band uh, draw these two uh, sides in you start out like this just draw it in this one and this one just give the uh, select this the one with the blue and just give a nice whitish color so your preview looks a little something like this you want high contrast to dark contrast okay uh, go back down and make sure you light your uh, smoke correctly so just put a lamp in there bring it down and change the color of the light that it's going to be emitting so with your lamp selected go to the lamp button under your materials and there's a little color band all you have to do is change the color for it hit zero hit it up a couple frames so move the camera up a little bit there we go just set the world settings around so we can see a little so it's nicer okay so <clears throat> now hopefully you can follow through this and hit F12 and watch our smoke render out alright and there's our smoke Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll be getting to a little more with uh, halos and what you can do with them.